Hello. Today is um, Thursday, and we're going to make the fajitas that we talked about yesterday. I know I marinated the meat, and it's in the fridge. I cut up the vegetables. They're right here. So all that's left is to saute them down. But I'm like, what is, like, I love guacamole with my fajitas. So since I'm the only person that's here, and I'm going to have to eat these, I chose to make some guacamole. And I said, well, that'd be a good lesson too. So here we are. So this is an avocado, as we all know, and that's the base of guacamole. I have three of them in here, all mashed up. Not, they're not really mashed, they're kind of chopped and mashed, because I kind of like it a little chunky. But I wanted to show you how to, to cut the avocado and get the seed out, and then how to take it out of its shell. So what you're gonna do is take your knife, and go in until you hit the pit. The pit is that big round ball that's on the side. And then using the pit as a guide, go around it until you come back to where you were. So now you have two halves that can be easily separated. All right, you have your two halves of um, of your of your avocado. Now, to kick out the seed, you just have to go around it a little bit, and it should just pop right out. Okay, there you go. To take the meat, which is this part, out of the shell, which is this part, you're going to take a spoon and go right underneath it, and right around where the shell is, and if you, as soon as you can get underneath it, you're just going to pop it out. It just pops right out. There you go. Okay. Now, I don't need this for the guacamole. This was an extra avocado, but I did need it to show it to you. So, I wanted to make sure I, I did that. Now, this won't last that very long because avocados tend to turn black. Unless you put in something acidic and it can kind of do it. So, the next step to this is to add some lime juice. So, I have a lime. I just cut it in half. I kind of rolled it. And... This is my juicer, just a simple little juicer like we have at school. And I'm just going to pulverize it up here. And take this out. It was so good to see everyone yesterday that I did in chat. If I didn't see you, I hope you can make it to our next one next Wednesday. Because it's good for us to talk like that and pull around and to see each other. Because I missed you guys so much. And then uh, I'm not the strongest, you know that. And you guys all know I have a lot of arthritic problems in my hand. So it's hard for me to get every last bit out, but I try. And then you're going to take this from the one line, and you're going to pour it in here. And with your guacamole. And with your avocados. And you mix that around. It'll help it kind of not to turn black, but it really will. In here I have some cayenne pepper. I have some ground cumin. And I have some kosher salt. And I'm just... just in here, and I'm just going to put them in here. It's a half a teaspoon of the cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of the cumin, and a whole teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to put that in. Yum. I love guacamole. I just think this is too much. Like, I'll end up throwing half of this clay because it'll go bad. Too bad. All right, now I'm going to add some chopped onions. It calls for, like, I don't know, maybe a medium onion, and all I have is those big ones, so I'm not going to use all this onion. I'll use, I'll use most of it. And I have some jalapeno, a half of a jalapeno that I chopped up, because that's going to give it some nice flavor. Remember when you chop up a jalapeno, that when you are chop it in half and you're taking out the seeds, that you need to wear gloves, because... If you get that into your blood, it can cause you some major harm. 
Then I have some tomatoes. These were great tomatoes. That's all I had in the house, so that's what we're using today. So I'm going to mix all this in. Now, just like with any other dip or anything you make, you want all these flavors to marry. And what I mean is you want them all to blend together so that they taste really good. Now, there was something I left out of here. I need to add a little garlic, which is about a teaspoon. And some cilantro, which is all diced up. Which is my favorite part. Some people hate it, but I love cilantro. Oh, nice. So this is some nice guacamole. And when we make those um, fajitas, this will taste really good on the um, fajita. Okay, so I'm going to take some... I'm going to take some saran wrap. That's probably what I miss the most about school is the saran wrap because... I've been using a lot of this at home, which I hardly ever do, and it is off. <laughs> Cutter. All right, so you put this on, and then I'm going to squish this down so that I cover all the places where air could get in. And I let that sit for a while, and that will marry all the flavors. Okay. So that is how you're going to make guacamole. Hope you can make some at home, but not everybody has avocados hanging around. But some people do. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes to make the fajitas. I hope this finds you well. I hope your family is well. And I hope that you're washing your hands and uh, staying home because home is where it's safe. Thanks. Be right back. 